Quiet Place Part 2 is finally upon us. This is a film that was supposed to come out forever ago, but, you know, COVID, it happens. It's happened with a bunch of movies, so here we are. Got to see this in theaters, which is always an interesting experience these days, having been away from them for a while, but, you know, of, you know, I'm fine with watching movies at home for the most part, but there are films like A Quiet Place that should be seen in theaters because it definitely enhances the experience. Um, once again, this is a film that relies heavily on sound. Now, if, or the lack thereof, should I say, um, I'm going to say this. I feel like if you're a fan of the first one, you're going to be a fan of this one. You know, I could see someone being like, it's just too much more of the same. I could definitely see that argument. But I feel like this is the next logical step in the story and that it's very well done for what it is. Now, this one takes place right after the first one, uh, much like Halloween 2, which I always enjoy and, and, and like, and the continuity there for all of that is great. Now, from the trailer, you know that this shows day one and that scene goes on for quite a while and it's very good it's a very good setup it's a very good reminder of what once was what was lost and whatnot um the movie is you know much like the first one to me it's a great theater going experience but not a film i could see myself re-watching very much um of course it's a film built on a gimmick I suppose if you will it's a monster movie set in a world where you can't really make any noise and this is retained throughout even though at the end of the first one they have figured out a way to defeat these things that doesn't just make it some simple thing now uh, along with the first one but even more so this time there's a lot of things that I just can't overthink you know I saw this with my fiance, and after we were talking about it, and I was like, yeah, but what about this, 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 and this? Like, why, and how, and blah, and blah. And it was just like, you know what, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the film for what it is. And that's just it. I don't feel like this film series is deep, right? It's very surface level. It's, it's about... Um, not that there's not good emotion in it, because there is, and there's great acting from everybody involved within the first one and within this one. And John Krasinski does a very good job of directing this film, and the actors do a very good job. Um, and it's a very worthy successor, very worthy follow-up to the first film. So I don't feel like many people are going to be disappointed with this film, having been fans of the first one. But... If you're like me and your second viewing of A Quiet Place at home was nowhere near as enjoyable as the theater experience, I feel like the same is going to be said here with the second one when I watch it at home or if I watch it at home. Uh, we get the addition of Killian Murphy in here, who's great as always. Um, but yes, the movie is a lot of more of the same for sure. It's you got to be quiet. Or the monsters will get you. You know, um, they have a they have a leg up this time around, and they each all have missions, um, and there's a lot of parallels, uh, which which make for some good scenes in this. There are some scenes, like one in particular, that I was just like, wow, that was typical setup horror movie garbage. Like, I was like, that was so obvious that that scare was coming, that that, and that felt lazy. It felt, it, it, I don't know, it felt beneath this film. So when it happened, I was like, wow, that was in here? How lame. Um, but yeah, the actors are all great. I think, um, the little, the little girl, the deaf girl is, is fantastic. Emily Blunt is fantastic. Um, as far as like the scope of the story and whatnot, there's definitely things I would have liked to have seen more of. Like they run into, um, something else out there in the world. And this is just 
very mildly explored. Maybe we'll see more of this in A Quiet Place 3, which I'm sure is bound to happen, or I think might have already been in production. So uh, we'll get the Quiet Place trilogy, I'm sure. But I feel like the goal, like what the movie is all trying to do, what uh, the characters are off doing, specifically one of them, um, is off trying to do, this is where my brain goes and starts to try to think about it too much because it's like, how would that really benefit anything? Like, I, if I was doing a spoiler discussion right now, I could break down why I find that to be so silly and why it really doesn't matter. Now, the third film could come along and f and fix my issues with it because there'd be, there would need to be way more to that plan than what ends up happening and where it ends. It's like, okay, you did that, but that doesn't really do anything. So it acts like it's some big thing, but it really isn't. So um, that was a problem for me. Um, and But, you know, it's, it's good. It, it's exactly what you would expect it to be, and I think that's a good thing. Um, it is the follow-up that I think a lot of people are looking for, I'm not sure what more it would have been. The creatures this time around are much like the creatures in the first one, but very, used very effectively. These things are very scary. Um, but yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. I think fans of the first one, big fans of the first one, will love this one for sure. Um, but as I said, I just I don't find I don't find myself uh, rewatching this. I just I don't think that will happen much i'll probably see it again but not much else but other than that i mean very good follow-up no no uh, knock here of, of, of the film it's just i know my experience with the first film and it's very similar to this one so i'm expecting my second viewing to be very similar to the first one but anyways uh very well shot very well directed very well acted um don't overthink it I think that's really what it comes down to. Just enjoy it, how it's presented. Kick back and be quiet. Anyways, let me know when you see it. Adios.